What's up, my dolls? No, I'm just kidding. I wanted to do that joke for like a year, so it's, it's done and nerdiness aside. What's up, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. And if you like the idea of MIMO, you like N900, we've got it here. We're at the Nokia booth at CTI in San Diego. And we're going to talk with Joe Gallo, who's communications manager. He's going to give us a run through the N900 and all the things that MIMO can do. So, so what we have here, as Aaron just said, is the N900. Form factor is a slide up QWERTY keyboard with a full 3.5 inch touch. You can actually have what we call a panoramic desktop. That's four different desktop views, all at one on live at one time. Um, up here you have your standard icons, you know, phone, contacts, email, conversations. You've got a number of shortcuts. So if I want to click on OV, it'll go right into the OV web page. So go back and look at that. We have our multitasking menu. One quick button, and you can see here, right now there is about, uh, if my math is right, 11 applications open. That's w w web windows, bookmarks windows, emails, as you can see at the bottom here. Um, and then you just touch it again, you go into your full menu. So you can see this is your most used. You know, your phone, your web, media player. Let's actually go into the media player real quick. So if you want to see what a video is going to look like on this screen, we'll actually watch a 720p trailer briefly. This software doesn't crash. There you go. This is the new movie Nine by Tim Burton. As you can see, pretty damn good. <laughs> Not gonna lie. You just touch it once, and you have your your playing um, your media buttons come up. You can even share it if you want or trash it. Uh, we'll go out of this. And we'll actually leave it open so you can actually see <clears throat> what it'll look like in the. Uh, in the. Oh, I closed it out. I'm sorry. But um, you know, if you want to go to another menu, you've got your Facebook widget, your media player widget, a number of different other icons here, uh, your calendar widget. These are actually personal uh, contact book shortcuts. So if I want to call Chance. <clears throat> You just click it and that's everything that he has that I have in my phone book for him. So if I want to SMS him, I can just touch SMS. Comes right up and then I would just start typing away. So this is actually threaded messaging in our SMS client. So you'll be able to see everything that's going on. So I'll just type in and hit set. I can add a smiley face if I wanted to without having to actually put in smileys. Or I just hit send. Um, I really don't think he's going to respond to me, so we'll just go back out. What's really cool about our, our conversations client is within it, we actually have um, I, native IM as well as SMS. So you'll see here you've got some, some yellow envelopes. Those are SMS, while the white are actually uh, some sort of IM client, whether it be Gtalk. Actually, this is OV Chat. I should know that. Oh, there's Chance right there. You can see the notification come up right up top. Oh, if I, traditional I would, Nokia beep, too. I like that. Exactly. <laughs> <coughs> so these white indicate uh, an IM client. In this case, it's OV. It's our, our OV Chat. If I press New IM, this will show me all of my contacts that have IM. And I just touched one, Ron Bar Bar Barrett, who I don't know, so we're not going to IM. Um, but if I touch the, the window, you'll notice that it had a little bit of a white blur on it. That's to tell you you have something new. So whether it's an email or an IM or, or a text message, that's how you can tell. You just click it and it'll go right into it. So when I said there is threaded messaging, that's basically what it is. It stays that way until you clear your conversation. <laughs> You know, we've got a five megapixel camera on here. We've got great quality video. It's actually got a kickstand as well. So you can actually set it up, whether it's you want to get it a little bit of a different angle or sit it down and watch a movie on a plane. Um, we've got TV out as well as a 3.5 millimeter jack. Screen lock. You've got your standard camera button, your stereo speakers. I mean, this, this device really has it all. Uh, inside the actual hardware, you've got an ARM Cortex A8 processor, 2. 256 megs of RAM, 32 gigs. We're actually allotting about a gig of that, if not a little more, up to two, for just application installation. So most people don't know what they're going to do with 32 gigs. We're allowing 
so much for applications so you can hack this thing up and really just go to town on it. Small mobile computer or phone? What's your vote? This is a mobile computer. This is not a. This is not just a a phone or a smartphone. This is a mobile computer. Um, you know, it's MIMO started with our internet tablet line. It's moved up to this device through the evolutionary process. Yes, it, it has the phone capabilities. It's got the telephony, whether it be VoIP or cellular. But this, based on Linux, can do pretty much anything your laptop can do. Is there any announcement uh, as to when this is coming to the States? Or any we, sort of launch date, quarter, or anything like that? We haven't given a formal launch date. Um, what we have said is it'll start shipping to select regions in October. The U.S. is one of those select regions. It's for pre-order on Nokia USA now for $649. Uh, it, it is the number one pre-order selling, I guess, cell phone on Amazon right now.